you, are you trying to musicalize me, Mrs. Robinson? Yes. In the late 1980s, Bob Merrill, lyricist to Funny Girl, was determined to bring The Graduate to Broadway. A big name star was desired for the role of the middle-aged seductress, Mrs. Robinson. Names such as Cher, Shirley MacLaine, and Julie Andrews were all considered. Julie's getting a lot of work tonight with her. <laughs> But despite Merrill having already written the score, the Nederlanders, who were going to produce the show, said that Merrill needed a youth consultant. And I guess because I wasn't born yet, they brought in Jim Steinman of Meatloaf fame, even though he was 39 years old at the time. Steinman recalls that from that point on, the musical just fell apart. Before the musical was even presented before an audience, headlines read, Broadway, no place for the graduate. And you can kind of guess how the rest of this story goes. But a lot of the score is absolutely fantastic. And to show us what Merrill came up with for the famous hotel seduction scene, please welcome to the stage Brian George Rowell as young Benjamin and Kelly Lester as Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> Ben is finally in a hotel room with Mrs. Robinson, alone. But his, he's frozen with apprehension of having an affair with the wife of his father's business partner. Mrs. Robinson attempts to enlighten young Benjamin. You'll always find an older woman less inclined to be misleading or deceptive. You'll know precisely where you stand and just exactly what you can anticipate. And then because of that maturity, she's naturally more yielding and receptive. Well, Mrs. Robinson, you make it sound just great. really makes a lot of sense. You understand? I understand. You see, it's one of life's natural events. And every boy should sometime love an older woman. It is a love a young girl can't approximate. Yes, every boy should one time love an older woman. Why wait? Yes, every boy should sometime love an older woman. A slice of life a young man wouldn't want to miss. Yes, every boy should one time love an older woman like this. Just keep rubbing my neck. Very nice. In fact, very, very nice. Now please forgive me for inferring the advantages involved are all one-sided. Because you realize that premise would be utterly salacious to assume. For an affair to be rewarding, the enjoyment must be equally divided. I guess especially when she just paid for the room. You really make things crystal clear. And you agree with what you heard. I go along with every word and just come here. Cause every boy should sometime love an older woman. A golden moment he can cherish all his life. Yes, every boy should one time love an older woman. What's wrong? Why did you stop? Oh, my fingers 
was cramped when I was massaging your neck. Oh. Woo, okay, that's better. Ready to go back to work. Back to work? Do you have to make it sound like you're driving a damn bus? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, my fault. I'm a little uptight. <laughs> Suddenly, I have this strange goddamn feeling that I'll end up loathing myself. I'm sorry. Christ. I am sure insecure for a woman who's lived as much life as I've lived. You should have seen this body at 20. This body made strong men weak. Here I am, standing and selling myself as an early American antique. Why shouldn't you want someone younger, brand new and fresh? I'm ashamed of the pressure I laid on you. But every boy should sometimes love an older woman, a golden moment he can cherish. All his life. Yes, every boy should sometimes love an older woman. Now, are you really sure? I'm really sure. You're really ready. Really ready. They <laughs> don't chicken out now. I get going right about now. They start tearing their clothes off. <laughs> goes into 40. <laughs> yes, every boy should sometime lie. 